you know, our users are really curious about is your working style. So you, you know, we know anecdotally from some of the people who work with you, you take a lot of care in cultivating your personal relationships. You've had long-standing partnerships. Um, you've, you know, you've really invested in the the city that you live in, in your home. And tell us a little bit about how your philosophy towards people has developed and, and how you think about partnerships and relationships. Yeah, well, Caroline, I, you know, I run a company that has 24 people in the home office here in Omaha, and we have 285,000 people working for us. We have, we probably have 50 CEOs that report to me, well, obviously we can't run anything from headquarters, and I don't want to run anything. I, I, I like, I do not want to have hundreds of people here and have to <laughs> think about everything that goes with it. So, so I have delegated like nobody's ever delegated with a company of this size, and I trust the managers, and, mm -hmm. and uh, most of them, are already rich. We buy their companies for hundreds of millions or billions of dollars. We don't get contracts with them to keep working. I mean, they have to go to work every day because they want to go to work, not because there's some contract or because they need the money. So I try to create the conditions that uh, will cause them to really rather be at work than on some yacht someplace, which they could easily afford. And I say to myself, uh, you know, how do you get people that don't need to work to work? Well. You give them something that they love to work on. And, right. you know, I don't need to work, but I jump out of bed every morning. I'm excited. I come to the office because I think I'm painting this painting, which is Berkshire Hathaway, and it, the canvas is of unlimited size, and I get to paint, and I get to paint the way I want to paint. And I do the, I feel the same thing works for our managers. And, you know, every now and then you have a disappointment. But overwhelmingly, mm -hmm. if you put trust in the, uh, uh, in, in the equation with people, that have already shown they have a lot of ability running their business. And it's real trust. And they don't report to committees at headquarters or do anything like that. We've never had a committee meeting. But we don't have any committees. So how could we have one? <laughs> uh, and, and overwhelmingly, those people do a good job. And then they deserve appreciation when mm -hmm. they do it. Uh, I like applause, you know. And if I like applause, you know, I'm sure they like applause. And what they really like is is intelligent applause from a, from, from a real critic. And... You know, they, they get that one, they get that from me. And, and in terms of, you know, people working with, I'm, my partner is a fellow named Charlie Marker in Los mm -hmm. Angeles. We started working together 54 years ago. Wow. We are very strong-minded. We often disagree. We have never in our lives had an argument with each other, and we never will. It just doesn't happen. I mean, he's a wonderful partner. You know, he always gives me credit for more than I'm doing. And, you know, <laughs> if, it, if, his, if he has an idea and it's a good one, he says it's my idea. And if it's a bad one, he says it was his idea. He's just, he's just a perfect partner. And uh, uh, totally, I mean, we, we challenge each other and all of that. But uh, it's a lot more fun accomplishing things in life with a partner, frankly, than, than by yourself. Mm-hmm. And that gets to um, you know the whole the whole context of community building. And one of the big messages that we that we really advocate for at Levo is the importance of creating a community around you of mentors and of peers who help you succeed, help you along that path. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about and, and you know you started to discuss this obviously in the context of your mentorship relationship with Kay um, in your essay, but can you can you talk to us a little bit about um, maybe some of the unsung heroes in your life, maybe some of the people who've influenced you or supported you, but who, who haven't been as visible as um, as others that we that we may have already talked about? Well, Caroline, I mean, I, if you tell me who your heroes are, I'll tell you how you're going to turn out. I mean, it's really important in life to have the right heroes. And and I've been very lucky in that, you know, I've probably had a dozen or so major heroes, and uh, none of them has ever let me down. I mean, and, and, and you really... <coughs> You want to hang around with people that are better than you are. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You, know, you will. You will. You will move in the direction of the crowd. You know that that you associate with. So I've, fortunately, I've had these heroes starting with my dad, but uh, uh, my wife, my first wife, uh, uh, I was a mess when I met her. But she she did all kinds of things for me. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm, I'm not kidding. I mean, uh, I would be an entirely different person if I hadn't married her. It's a very important to marry well. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I had this wonderful teacher, Ben Graham. I've had mm -hmm. other teachers like my friend Tom Murphy that's on the board of Berkshire. And, uh, a fellow named Joe Rosenfield in, 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 uh, in, in Des Moines. But you mentioned me being a mentor to Kay. Kay was a mentor to me, too. I mean, she taught me a lot. At, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so if, if you get to associate with people that are really first-class people, uh, it, you know, 
that's a real benefit, and, and, and you should aspire to do that. Uh, you want to have the right heroes.